my head. Interesting. Set across the street save 50 percent off. Hmm. Well, let me pause it here real quick. All right, we're gonna try this now. Uh, it still drops all the way down. Jesus Christ, why? It makes no sense to me. I believe you'll find the sheriff in her office. Uh, just go down the corridor. I'm sorry you had to cut your morning fishing shore for this, Doc. Oh, she's a beauty, ain't she? Not the biggest I ever caught, if you can believe that coming from an old fisherman like me. But she's right up there. Now, she's a largemouth bass, which is what you're after if you prefer a lure. Now, if you want either trout or salmon, on the other hand, then it's fly fishing for you. Um, you a fishing man, Mr. Wake? Oh, doesn't really matter, I suppose. But it can be very relaxing out there. You can't get me off the water this time of year. Closest thing to heaven. I'll take your word for it, Doc. And the volumetric, I'm assuming that's the lighting. That's just part of the engine, I'm assuming. Even the shadows, I want to see if I can change it. Thank you for testing the lights, Miss Weaver. Everything seems to be fine. <laughs> I don't have the luxury of being complacent, Deputy Grant. The bulbs will need changing soon. You can't change them in the dark. I'll be sure to take care of it, Miss Weaver. Have a nice day now. Very good. <laughs> I'll come back later on to remind you, just in case. Mr. Wake, the sheriff is waiting for you in her office down the corridor. Okay, alright, yeah, just one second. Just checking shit out. Uh, uh, might as well just leave everything as high as it'll go then. Since my freaking shit won't go any... do any better. That was Cynthia Weaver. I guess you can call her the town eccentric. She used to be the editor of the local newspaper, but she's focused on, um, well, other things these days. She'd fit right in where I come from. As you can see, she's a little obsessed with maintaining the light bulbs of the whole town, refuses to step on shadows, things like that. Back in her day, she wrote about all sorts of <laughs> weird things in the paper. Bright Falls has a colorful history. Of course, what small town hasn't? Huh. All day parking lot. Well, this must be the waiting room. Uh, the sheriff wants to see you in her office, Mr. Wake. Oh. Uh, oh wow. Hold on one second. Let's see. On camping trip over to haven't been contacted. Oh my god. Wow. Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. Okay. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did oh, you shit. end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me, I need to take this. Hello? Alice, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? Oh, what the fuck? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're gonna meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Mr. Don't Wade, can I help you with anything? For watching uh, you. I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Hey, of course, Mr. Wake. Hey, you can Mr. get there through the cell hey, corridor. You turn the light. The light's on. The deputies, they won't, they don't understand. They won't listen to me. I I need it to be bright in here. Hey, hey, hey you, hey, can you help me? Wow. Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey, 
You're all right. You're a good guy. Don't let anybody. The know early you. morning light hurt my eyes and oh, made my damn. headache. The man on the phone had said, "Go through the fence on the left." On the left. Okay. Manuscript and an old car. Hmm. Okay, can't go that way. Can't go this way. The caller had told me to find a hole in the fence behind the police station. There was something for me in an abandoned car. Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week, you and Alice. Oh, I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Ow! What the hell is going on? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. All right. Exit Sheriff's Station. Hmm. Well, folks, it's been another long night, and uh, it's about time for me to sign off for a while. God knows I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> Uh, just one more item before I go. It's been a busy night for the sheriff. Had a few broken windows, even reported shots fired on Main Street. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton had to deal with two intoxicated young men who were celebrating the completion of their Deer Fest float. Now, folks, we get this every year. I know it's exciting that the big day is almost here, but let's save it for the party and leave the gunplay for the shooting competition, huh? No point in getting all worked up yet. Huh. Okay, I gotta get out. A writer oh. is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, huh. the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. Scary. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. Yeah, I'm lagging. Marvelous, Sarah. I just wanted to settle Shit. all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused on their recent and regrettable. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about... Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh, hey! Oh, my! Take it easy. Nobody move! Get your hands off of my client! Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. 